Here are solutions to homework set number four for ECE 476 Advanced Nevada Systems. In this homework set, we're looking at timing, analog I.O., motors, with binary inputs. So the first problem is an electronic trombone. Come up with a Python program to let you play between 220 Hz and 440 Hz as you move the potentiometer. So here's what she's going to look like. I've got my Pico driving an H-bridge, driving a speaker. As they hold the button down, plays the note. As they vary the voltage with the potentiometer, goes for 40 hertz. Down to 220 hertz. So with that, you can play some tunes. Sort of. Not a great tune, but a tune. Okay, how do we do that? The first part is I want to get the analog signal into the Pico. So I'm going to import ADC from machine. I will set up pin 0, that's the left-right analog input, to the PIC, and then read it. I'm going to read 0 to 1,000 to 65,000. Um, to get the frequency, if the voltage is zero, I want to get 220 Hz. If it's maxed out, 65,000, I want to get 440 Hz. So there's my curve fit. It goes from 220 to 440. To set the frequency, I'll import PWM and pin from machine. So that'll set up the speaker as PWM on pin zero. I'll set the frequency to 500 Hz. Well, it's going to change make it an input, well, here's my push button, then the speaker, I'll set the frequency right here, and the duty cycle 32,000. That's when you're playing. If I do not hit the button, I make the duty cycle zero. That's what you're hearing right now, no duty cycle, no sound. So the net result, I have electronic trombone. Part two is test your code. So here what I'm looking for is at the low end, is it really 220 Hz? At the high end, is that really 440 Hz? And a couple points in the middle. So what I used is a frequency counter. A piano tuner sort of works, kind of struggles with square waves. Um, frequency counter works great with a square wave. Measuring straight off the Pico, 440 hertz on the high end, 220 hertz on the low end, proportional in the middle. And a demo. Sort of where he had a little lamb. Okay, that's the first problem. Second problem is to build an electronic sunflower. So here, what I'm trying to do is find the light source. That's my light source right here. Point at it. So if the sun moves, or light source moves, it should figure that out. Come up with a program and hardware that does that. So many solutions. What I chose was a light sensor with a 1K resistor. Um, what this does is let us shine light on it, R goes down, voltage goes up. So here I'm trying to find the maximum voltage. Goes to the analog input on the Pi Pico. Um, 0 and 1 are the potentiometer, this is analog 2. The Pi Pico then drives a DC servo motor, di digital servo motor. It applies a pulse, 0.5 to 2.5 millisecond pulse, that controls the angle. The digital servo motor, then swings back and forth, tries to find out where the light is the brightest, meaning where is the voltage the highest. Once it finds it, go to that angle. Wait two seconds and repeat. That's kind of what I'm doing. In terms of hardware, that's the hardware connection. In terms of software, to read the analog input, I'm just going to read the analog input, channel 2, um, and sweep is 
I read the voltage, record the maximum value, the current voltage, and print it. So as the voltage changes, kind of see here, Vmax picks off the maximum value and tells you what it is. That was where the light was the brightest. I need to vary the angle of the motor. To do that, I'm going to use PWM and have the pulse width vary from 500 nanoseconds to 2.5 million or 0.5 milliseconds to 2.5 milliseconds. I'll put that duty cycle. That causes the motor to spin. And on the oscilloscope, you can see when it's 0.5 milliseconds, there's a 0.5 millisecond pulse. 2.5 milliseconds, there's 2.5 millisecond pulse. Connect that to the servo motor. That sets the angle. Putting it all together, I'm going to start out with pulse width being right in the middle. <clears throat> I'm going to set the two limits between min and max and sweep the whole range. So here's kind of what that looks like. If I restart it, there's your 0.5 to 2.5 milliseconds swings. As it swings, it tries to find where was the light the brightest. Once it finds it, go to that angle. So that's what this does. I'm going to sweep from min to maximum. Otherwise, take the previous answer, plus or minus 200, 0.2 milliseconds. Uh, keep sweeping until I get to the maximum value. Once I find the maximum value, go to that angle. And again, this is what that looks like. If I restart, it sweeps between 0.5 and 2.5 milliseconds, recording the voltage. Wherever the voltage was the maximum, go to that pulse width. If I move my camera over here, here's my light source. This should now point at this point. So starting over again. Trying to find out where was the light the brightest. Once it finds it, go to that angle. Yeah, I keep sweeping in case the light source moves. That is homework number four for advanced embedded.